And now let's bring in Courtney Keeley uh, from Washington. And of course, the U.S. angle here is very important. What are the charges in the U.S.? Well, the, the indictment was unsealed today. It was a sealed indictment that was put in place in May, uh, December of 2017. And the Department of Justice unsealed that indictment saying that he conspired to hack into a computer, a, a, a sensitive uh, Pentagon computer, with Chelsea Manning. Uh, Chelsea Manning was a Department of Defense official who did serve seven years of jail time. Um, and is now in, is now back in jail for not testifying against Assange uh, in a grand jury. Now, the way this breaks down, though, is Julian Assange is considered by many people here to be head of a news organization, to be a journalist, mm -hmm. and for a Department of Justice officials uh, to put this indictment against a journalist for actually releasing. Um, uh, classified documents to the public, that becomes a very thorny First Amendment right. Um, and it's something that the former Attorney General Eric Holder under President Obama wouldn't touch. Uh, but this president, uh, this president and this Attorney General, um, uh, especially President Trump, who has, has made his disdain for the press very clear during his presidency, uh, this 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 brings up a lot of issues, a lot of civil civil liberties issues of whether they can actually prosecute him and what issues that is and could actually then what precedent it could set for other investigative journalists. And uh, Courtney, let's uh, dig into that a bit more. As you mentioned, um, it, it is an indictment against a journalist. Many people see him as a, as a publisher. Others see him as someone that spoke out uh, against. Um, against many arguments. Um, what are the larger implications legally then in the U.S.? Well, it's interesting because President Trump made his love of WikiLeaks very clear during his campaign when they released a trove of emails of Hillary Clinton's, and some say that might have tipped the election in President Trump's favor. But since he's been president, he's Uh, kept classified documents classified. Investigative journalists here don't have to sign those documents. Um, and so I talked to one top legal expert, and he said that, that many see this as a full frontal assault against investigative journalism and the First Amendment here in the U.S. And, Courtney, how quickly do you think uh, the U.S., uh, the U.K. could extradite, uh, the U.K. and the U.S. could agree to extradite him? Well, that's unclear. I mean, we really uh, have to see what what the UK wants to do in terms of uh, what charges they want to press, what jail time he might serve there. Um, here, he would face up to five years in a federal prison. Uh, federal prosecutions normally don't give the maximum sentence, so they could maybe serve uh, serve time in both places or agree that he'd come here and serve time. But right now, we're really waiting to see what the next um, statement is from both the UK and the US on extradition. All right, Courtney Kelly in Washington, thank you very much indeed for that update.